Hello everybody. Um, it's been a while since I've done a technical video. Uh, what I'm working on right now is upgrading my Core XY. It was one of the earlier printers that I've built. Um, obviously with the Core XY mechanism. Uh, but what I was looking at doing this time around was to first of all replace uh, my cheap belts and pulleys uh, with uh, genuine gates belts and pulleys. Uh, I'm going to keep the mechanism and dimensions the same. Uh, I did try to redesign it to put this gantry up higher but it really didn't make a lot of sense because I want to have this to be a comp uh, enclosed printer so it's completely enclosed all around and I have doors in the front uh, but putting this up any higher would mean that I would have to somehow um, change the actual ceiling of the printer to make room for the filament so gate belts uh, the other thing I'm changing is the cheap um, uh, screw in the back is being replaced with a one and a half pitch uh, Misumi screw and then right now I have uh, four THK rails. You can kind of see the divider in the middle there that I'm going to be replaced with uh, two single um, 495 millimeter uh, IKO rails, which are compatible with the THK. Then furthermore, the biggest change probably, and what I'll do first is I'm going to change my current KFB board that's running with TMC 2130 chips. Uh, with the SKR 1.3 and uh, so what I'll do in this video is I'm going to look at uh, the KFB which is currently installed uh, on my printer which is this one with the uh, SKR 1.3 that I purchased I think this is a king print one and so I'm just going to first check out to see if there's going to be any gotchas I'm going to be running into uh, clearly um, you know the motors and most of that stuff will act the same and it has the same LCD connector but uh, I'm also using the um, inductive sensor so I need to know if all the connections are there uh, for those and my additional fan connection that I'm currently using this printer right now uh, I have a cooling fan for the chips that kicks in the minute uh, the stepper motors start running so I want to be able to replicate that feature uh, and then of course I have the part cooling fan uh, that also is uh, controlled so I want to make sure everything kind of operates the same and to see how much trouble it will be to convert if we look at the two boards the uh, KFB 2.0 which I believe is actually very similar to the MKS Gen so this might be a similar comparison as the MKS Gen uh, and then this is the SKR 1.3 a 32-bit board so uh, I'm hoping that with the 32-bit I'm going to get a little bit more accuracy and maybe some additional speed on the Core XY although I gotta say it's running pretty nicely now but uh, and I also wanted to kind of go through the learning experience of working with the Marlin 2.0 um, so I have one printer running a Repiche, the Duet, uh, but I also wanted to try one printer with Marlin 2.0 at 32-bit. So if we look at the boards themselves, of course the most obvious thing is uh, it's different dimensions. Uh, so my KB board currently mounted uh, into my printer. I'm going to either have to drill a couple of new holes or uh, create some sort of uh, conversion bracket to put in the, uh, KF, uh, the SKR board. Uh, when we look at all the um, outlets, so right now we have the input 12 to 24 volts, input 20, 12 to 24 volts, we have the heated bed, uh, we have the hot bed here, we have heater 1, heater 0, so I'm guessing this all, not a problem, looks the same. So I'm not worried about that. Uh, we have the same LCD output, so I assume there's going to be uh, exactly the same too. From what I can tell, as far as the end stops is concerned, it looks like we have the same end stops here. X minus X plus, Y minus Y plus, so that again should be the same. Now what I should check for is to look at where the plus and a minus is if I look at the K 
KFB board, the actual voltage and ground are to the outside of the board. So actually to the inside of the board. So this here would be voltage and ground. And if we look at this one here, uh, this is kind of hard to tell. No, here we go. VGS. So voltage ground service. So our signal. So that is the same. So there's no need to uh, change any of the plugs around on that one. So that's good news. That makes it easier to convert. Um, the actual bed sensors on the KFB board temp 0, temp 1, temp bed. So I'm using temp 0 and temp bed. Uh, they are over here. Here, thermistor, and it's hard to read again, but these are the thermistors. They have a plus and a minus on there, which generally for thermistors shouldn't matter much. But by the looks of it, uh, ground. So this is kind of interesting. So not that I think the polarity matters on the thermistors, but they are definitely swapped around from the KFB to the um, SKR board. So this one shows ground being on the left side and here minus is on the right side, which would be you know equivalent to the ground. But again, uh, there's really no polarity on thermistors, so I don't see any problem with that. Um, let's look at the fan output. So I have a 5 volt fan, which I'm actually not using right now, and then a 12 volt fan, which I'm actually using to power the, um, the inductive sensor. So I'm going to need that port uh, similar here. And so we have, um, I think, Let's see, we have this board port here, fan minus plus. It doesn't indicate any voltage on here. And then there's another power output here, which I think is also a fan, but again, not very well indicated. So I'm gonna to have to look at the schematics online to see what that looks like so let me look that up okay if i look at the actual schematic so the question is these fan outputs let me see if i can pull that into the picture here uh, I'm going to pull it like such so that it's the same orientation um, the top one here is referred to as the board fan, which doesn't tell me much either. It doesn't seem to have like any pin definition, so I don't know if this is a controllable fan or if this is just an always on 12, 24 volts. But um, one of these will suffice to uh, power up uh, my inductive sensor that will get connected to the uh, Z and stop. So I think we're still good there too. Um, as far as ground and plus, same. they're oriented the same. So again, so the outputs for the fans are exactly the same too. So I think the conversion from going to um, the KFB board, which is very similar to the uh, MPS gem board, to the SKR, looks like everything is present. Um, I'm not gonna run the TMC2130 chips. I'm gonna have the TMC2208 ones on here. I think it's eight or maybe six. And I've already set it up for the UAR uh, connectivity so that we, I can uh, set all the currents through the software. Um, so it's gonna be similar to what the TMC2130 chips are doing. And I'll see if, if I like the TMC2208 better than the 2130. But um, I think I am good to go with a fairly straightforward conversion from one board to the next.
Next step will be uh, hooking this all up and getting my printer to work on the SKR 1.3 and moving away, moving from 8-bit to 32-bit. So I'm very curious to see what kind of difference that is going to make. Okay, so this is my current setup in my Core XY. KFB 2.0 board with the 21, uh, the TMC 2130 chips. Um, the dimensions of the board are different, but if you look at the orientation of all the wires, it's actually very similar if I orient it this way. So we have the power coming in, we have the heated bed going out, uh, and the heater 1 and the heater 2, uh, which again goes to uh, a fan. That lines up, then these two fan wires, these two here, would go either here and here, or vice versa. And uh, the driver chips all look to be oriented the same way. Now these actual wires here look like they might have been turned around looking at the connector. So I don't know if I have to reverse all my motors in the software or if it's just wired the same but the connectors are different. That might be something. Actually let me look at that. If we look at the orientation like so and we look at the 2A. The wiring looks identical, it's just that they flip the connectors around. So again, that should be no problem. So I will be connecting this board, or putting this board in this orientation in here, uh, and then reconnecting all the wires and actually configuring the software. So what I can start doing is I can start removing some of the wiring. This all this wiring here is the harness for the um, PSI control of the or SPI control of the TMC chips, which are no longer needed because that's all built into the uh, SKR 1.3 board. Uh, so this is all part of the wiring harness. I need to disconnect. We can start disconnecting all of these guys. I know that, by the way, these do not have ferrules on them, so I'm going to change that as well. That's the power. The end stops. If we look at that, we have the Z over here. We have the Z min over here. So that, again, all looks the same too. Yeah, they look the, they have the same polarity going on as well. So uh, this one here has the two wires that's from the inductive sensor. Without hopefully disrupting much of the wiring. There we go. That came out, those came out. Alright, so there's my old KFB board with the um, wiring harness for the TMC chips, which I won't need. And the next step will be to put in the new board. But I will. What I'll do first is I'm going to add ferrules to these wires that need ferrules. Ferrules, ferrules. I don't know what to how to pronounce it properly. Then I'll put in a new board, hook up all the wires, and then figure out this fan configuration for powering up the inductive sensor. Uh, as well as um, the control fan. All right, so I have everything hooked up like I did on the KAB 2.0 board. Gonna turn on the board and see if anything smokes. I see no smoke, but I don't see any LEDs either. Could have to do with the fact that I have not actually configured this board yet. Okay, and we're back uh, with the new board installed. And I gotta say, it was a fairly easy 
process. So as I looked earlier in the video, all the connectors kind of lined up fine, uh, and they did. So everything was connected. I added ferrules to the connectors that did not have them at the time. Uh, but the uh, controller fan uh, kept working. The uh, I have a fan that actually turns on from heater one uh, once the steppers kick in. Uh, that's the controller fan, and then the parts cooling fan worked as expected. The always on fan. So the only uh, issue I had was with the uh, I use a um, an inductive sensor, and I had a capacitor on it to bring down the voltage to five volt and it did not work uh, so the first thing I did actually I changed the capacitor out and added the uh, the usual uh, resistors of like 10k and 50, uh, 15k and 10k to make like a voltage splitter it still did not work so um, when I tested the inductive sensor the light would come on it but the actual signal was not um, captured so uh, went online and somebody uh, posted that the only way that will work is to actually physically remove uh, one of these pull down resistors on here because the software pull down uh, up and pull up would not work in the software however uh, i switched my software around and with this setting here at this point i disabled uh, or i did not turn on the end stop pull ups but i turned on the end stop pull downs and that seemed to have done the trick so now actually um, the inductive sensor works just fine so at this point um, everything works as it did before I'm not seeing any increased print quality as far as I can tell because there's really you know the 8-bit was keeping up with what I was printing that was actually easy uh, I will put links to the videos that I use to actually uh, configure the software because this is the first time I've used the platform IO uh, and Marlin 2.0 so and I'm not gonna go create a whole new video because the guy that did it uh, did a perfect good job at it um, so it's all up and running the one thing I did not like about this process is uh, there's this little jumper that you can move uh, from um, uh, regular voltage to actual programming mode and when you're in programming mode it gets powered by the USB only really um, but so that's what you set it to to upload uh, your code from a uh, platform IO and when you have to go back 10 times you know because you found this little thing or this was different and um, that is a pain in the butt because you are basically you know you upload your code to the board uh, then you have to unplug the USB, plug it back in to actually get the .bin file loaded. Uh, but the problem with starting up with the USB is that it will not connect properly to the TMC. You get this like TMC connection error because you have to turn on the full voltage first before uh, putting your USB in. And then when you're ready to actually operate, you have to you know turn everything off and put the jumper back to its original position uh, I didn't want to do that while the power was on so that's 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 kludgy I mean uh, the, the kudos for Repiche there where like you know you can just do all your configuration through g-code and you really don't have to do any flashing um, I wish something similar would come out for for Marlin but uh, beyond that um, it's up and running on 32 bit now um, it was a fun exercise so um, if you like this, the comparison from the KV board or MKS Gen L to the new SKR board, which I went through earlier, and then the actual setup, um, yeah, subscribe to my channel and I will keep you posted. The next upgrades to this printer will actually be changing all the belts and pulleys to uh, Gates brand. And I'm also going to be changing the uh, cheap screw in the back to a Misumi uh, one and a half pitch belt which should give me a little bit more resolution in the uh, the z-axis uh, so look out for that one thank you and have a good day